Eric, how are you doing? Hello, how are Kenny. You? Good are you to all see right? you. <laughs> I've just been talking to the girls that look after you there. <laughs> they said you're a bit of a nuisance. <laughs> <laughs> My word, I never thought to see you like him like that. My name is Eric Farrington. I was born 1929 in Daysbrook Lane. I've ended up in this home here. Unfortunately, that's, that's the name of the game when you get to my age. The first Covid, like, it was so, you know, locked down and you couldn't move out of your room. All your meals were brought to you. You had to stay in your room all day long. And that wasn't very good. But that's the way it was, that was a must. Oh, he's been a Liverpool fan since um, the early 50s. Um, going backwards and forwards to the games when he met my mum, she became a fan as well. They used to just share passion for Liverpool. In fact, my daughter's first word that she could read was Liverpool. She's got extensive knowledge on Liverpool and it's just the passion. Passion is, it just shines through him. He used to be a big fan of Kenny Dalgleish. Uh, so if we ever fell over, it was like, oh, you know, get yourself up, pick yourself up, be like Kenny, King Kenny. I became a Liverpool supporter when I was 10 years old. You know, on, on the big occasions, the big nights we have there uh, at uh, 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 Anfield now, you know, there's nothing like that in football. You, you know, you couldn't, you couldn't wish to support a better club, to be honest with you. I think that was an excellent idea and I mean all you've got to do is just stick it in to charge it up and away you go. And as I say, I'm very thankful for them giving it to me. Kenny Dalvish is a wonderful person. He was a good footballer, like Shankly. He made Liverpool his second home and he's still here today. And what a wonderful guy. Eric, how are you doing? Hello, how are Kenny. You? Good are you to all right? see you. <laughs> I've just been talking to the girls that look after you there. <laughs> they said you're a bit of a nuisance. <laughs> <laughs> My word, I never thought to see you like him like that. For me, uh -uh. I became a Liverpoolian when I was 10. And you used to live at Melwood? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Melwood Drive? Melwood Drive, yeah. You've seen a few, you've seen a few legs go through there then, eh? I have indeed, yeah. I've seen <laughs> running around. And even after he'd finished, he used to walk down every morning, you know, because he had a bit of half trouble, didn't he? <laughs> yeah, he used to go walk. Every morning I could see him from the bedroom. You must have seen a huge transition in the, the stadium. Oh, oh dear yeah. me. How different from oh. when I used to go and pay a shilling around the road. <laughs> An old shilling. What do you think uh, the team at this particular moment in time? You're happy with them? You're happy I'm, with Jürgen? I'm happy with them. I'm happy with them, yeah, all of them. During COVID, Nivea men presented you with an iPad. Yeah. How did you use that? I used it for all the football. That was a, a boom, that. A wee bit of comfort from not getting to Anfield. A lot of comfort from that, yeah. But um, nothing like going to Anfield. No, there's nothing like that. And listen, we heard you enjoyed it so much that the people from Nivea yeah. have got a wee present here for you. Dear Eric, Nivea men were in touch from the moment we heard of your story as a lifelong Liverpool fan. We know the past couple of years have been tough with the pandemic and we were grateful to be able to connect you with your loved ones through the iPads Nivea Men gifted. We would like to gift you VIP tickets to the final match of the season at Anfield this year in what could be a memorable season for the Reds. Eric, you are a ray of sunshine that has inspired us and reminded us how important it is to stay connected. Can you fit it into your schedule? I think I will, yeah. All right. I think right. I'll manage it. Thanks, Kenny. <laughs> I'll tell you what, this is another made my day today meeting you. You're very easily pleased. 
I don't think so. <laughs>